when young designers first start out, they think, you know, I'll come up with a first idea and then I'll make it. First ideas are called initial ideas. And the thing that you make is called the final product. But designing isn't as simple as this. You can't get from an, an initial idea and then make a brilliant final product. It just doesn't happen. There is more of a journey from the initial idea to the final product. You might be thinking, well, how do we actually get there? Well, we use something called the iterative design process. The word iteration means version. So in iterative design, we make many versions of the design before we get to the final product. Each version should be better than the last. When the versions stop getting better, then you're ready to manufacture the final product. Let's have a look at the iterative design process. So your initial idea goes into the iterative design process. It's a cycle, it goes round and round. The first thing that we do is record. Then we evaluate, then we plan, and then we improve. Okay, so what do these things actually mean? And how do we get to the final product? Okay, the initial idea, as we've said, is a first design idea. It's the first idea that comes out of your brain. That's what we put into the iterative design process cycle. The first thing to do is to record what we've done. In, in design and technology, we can take a screenshot if we're working on a computer, or we can take a photo if it's something that uh, we can hold in our hand. The next thing we do is when we've taken a photo or, or recorded it in some way, we can evaluate what we've done. Evaluating is looking carefully at what we've done and deciding what we like about it and what you don't like about it. The next thing to do is to plan. When we've decided what we don't like about it, we need to make a plan of action of how we're going to improve those bits. When we've decided on a plan, uh, how we're going to improve those bits, guess what we need to do? Improve it. So we need to make the improvements that you have planned to make a better version. And then we go around back to the start again. So when we've got our better version, we record it. And then we reevaluate it. We plan how to make the changes. We make the changes. Then we record it. Then we evaluate it. We plan and improve. And that goes on and on and on and on around the cycle. So you might be thinking, well, how do we ever get to the final product? Well, when you're evaluating, you need to think to yourself, can I improve it anymore? If yes, then continue to plan your changes and, to con and continue to improve your design. If no, then you're ready to make your final product. If it can't get any better, then it's time to make it. This is the iterative design process.